welcome to the house that the Holtz built. That's Tory Holt and Terrence Holt, former Eastern Guilford players and former NFL players. Tonight, we take a game that is split households. It's Eastern Guilford well, versus Northeast Guilford right here Eastern on Guilford Friday Night Rivalries. <laughs> Welcome to Friday Night Rivalries. I'm your host, Walter Johnson, folks. And tonight we have another great rivalry game for you. We have Eastern Guilford hosting Northeast Guilford. This game has historic proportions because some 30 years ago, Northeast Guilford split in half and Eastern was born. You have households that are split and divided because they're players who played on both sides of the fence. They're families who have mother who went to Eastern, father who went to Northeast, father who went to Eastern, mother who went to Northeast. So this game divides houses. Northeast comes in struggling a little bit one and two, but they're one and oh in the conference. Eastern comes in undefeated at three and oh and ranked for one of the first time in the state. And they're doing a fabulous job. They've been led by Marlon Petty and Terrell Pickett. These guys are running back extraordinaires. They're a two-headed monster, and they get it done for Eastern. On the other side of the ball for Northeast, Kalen McNeil, a Wake Forest signee, plays linebacker, but he also gets it in at fullback on offense. And lastly, Rodney Knight. He's that guy, number one in your, in your book and number one in your heart. He's a quarterback and a cornerback, and he can get it done. So look for a great game tonight, folks. No predictions because this game is always a toss-up. It's about emotion. Northeast versus Eastern. And you can see all the first-half highlights right here on Friday Night Rivalries. You're watching Friday Night Rivalries. Outstanding kick by number 14, Caleb Stanley. A field goal by Stanley of 42 yards. Excellent, excellent kick. Touchdown. 
of the Northeast with six. And your Wildcats of Eastern Guilford with three for the Wildcats. Number two, Pickett. Number 17, Northern. On to the turn, number two, Terrell Pickett. Justice pass complete to number 19. And the extra point fails. <laughs> On the return, number four, Jameek Carter. And a nice big hit by a Wildcat. Defensive play by seven. Pitch out goes to number three. Waitron Jordan and the Rams of Northeast with six. USA Today. Back deep for Eastern six. Josh Edwards. Edwards on the return. Good job, Paul. Keeper number five, he's the Justice. Justice back to pass on the scramble. And that goes to number two, Terrell Pickett. Working hard for some lock in order. Justice pass is intercepted. Jordan. 
number 55, the Wildcat, Harry Lundy. Making a nice play. Ball carrier number three, Jordan. The Wildcat Crazies are making a lot of noise on this fourth and goal. Put your hands together for that Wildcat defense. Good defensive stop out of Wildcat defensive line. Hand off the left. Ball carry once again, number two, Terrell Pickett. Wildcats with ten. And the Rams of Northeast Guilford with six. Welcome to our halftime show, folks. I'm Walter Johnson. And at halftime, it's Eastern Guilford 10, Northeast Guilford 6. In a game that could be a much higher scoring ball game, both of these teams have struggled punching the ball in once they've gotten into the red zone. But give credit to both of the defenses because they both stood up very well. For Eastern Guilford, they're led by Heath Justice, their quarterback. He has eight carries, 37 yards. He's also three for eight passing for uh, 66 yards, including one 21-yard touchdown to Yarl Davis. Also, Terrell Pickett, their running back, has six carries for 30 yards, but he also has 65 yards in return yards. He's keeping them in this ball game. For Northeast Guilford, you have Quatron Jordan, who came on late, 10 carries, 77 yards. And you also have James Donnell, who has six carries, 51 yards, but a big 40-yard touchdown run to get Northeast on the board. So at halftime, it's 10 to 6, Eastern Guilford. Stay tuned for more second half highlights right here on Friday Night Rivalries. Jimmy Carter, number four. Kickoff is on. On the keeper, quarterback number 10. On the keeper is number 10. On the play. On the keeper is number 10. Josh Edwards on the carry, number six. Inside handoff. Ball in Petty, number 12. Nice gain on the play. Also, flag. Justice on the scrabble. Start early. Stanley's kick is up and it is good. The uprights with 6.30 remaining in the third quarter. It's your Wildcats. Pitch out to Pickett, throws it back to number five, Heath Justice. Covered nicely by number 26. Heath Justice, connect. Heath 
Jefferson, put it into the pile. He's Jefferson, connecting with the number one. Stanley's extra point with 81 remaining in the third quarter. Wildcat fans, it's your Wildcat. Keeper number one, Rodney Knight. On the carry number four, excellent defensive play by 26, Trey McLean. To the wild ten. At the road 25 yard line, that's first and ten. On the keeper number five, he's Justice. So much. We appreciate you coming out here, Wildcat Country. And off to number two, Terrell Pickett. On the return is number eight, McGill. Miguel 
down the scramble. Back to by number one, Ray Ray Jones. Gill back to pass. Join, join us in the festivities of Homecoming 2013. Wildcats with 20. On the return is number two, Terrell Pickett. Welcome to the post game show, folks. I'm Walter Johnson, alongside victorious coach, Coach Doug Robertson. Coach, great game plan tonight. You guys uh, kind of just executed from start to finish. Yeah, we did. You know, early especially, but just couldn't punch it in. You know, I, th I felt, you know, I felt we at halftime we left a lot of points on the field, and against a good team like that, that kind of concerned me a little bit. Made a few adjustments at halftime to help us a little bit, but you credit Northeast. You know, they did a lot of things too to hurt us, but uh, you know, credit our kids also for showing a lot of heart and gritting it out. Your first year as the head coach, and you get one of the biggest victories this, uh, you know, in your rivalry, because this is a huge rivalry, and you all haven't beaten Northeast for a long time. What did you do to pump the kids up this week and get them ready for this ball game? Well, number one, it's not a rivalry. We, didn't, we hadn't won in a while. You know, rivalries are made when teams win. Uh, you know, one team wins one year, you know, they might win two in a row, but the other team's going to get you the next year. Right. Well, I told them we had to make it a rivalry by winning this football game, and, and you know, our kids took that to heart, and we expected to win this game. Okay? You, you That's the difference. You had a young man, Mr. Stanley, your kicker, yes. that came up huge for you tonight. He got you on the board early, and then in the second half, he came through and hit another big field goal. And really, that was the difference in this ball game. What does he mean to this team? It means a lot. You know, he also was a punter, and he kept them on a long field all night. So he, his punting and his kicking has been there all year for us. If you've watched this all year, he's just, he's he's got to be one of our MVPs at our team. You know, and I, I think some people overlook that type of the game, part of the game, but we definitely don't, and we appreciate we got him. Where do you go from here, Coach? Your conference season is about to start. Your kids are 4-0 for the first time in a long time. How do you keep them grounded and say, listen, guys, the important part of the season is coming up? Well, it's a cliche, but you got to take them one at a time and get better. You know, we, we focus on not how we play. Necessarily. We just want to get better every week, and I think we have overall gotten better, but we can get even better. We see it on film that we can get better than what we are. So we just got to stay focused, take them one at a time. McMichael's our next game. we got to go up to McMichael on a, on a way trip. We got to be focused and play our best football. Well, folks, Coach Doug Robinson, Coach, congratulations on a big win tonight. Thank you very we'll much. We'll be right back with an interview of some players and our play and player of the game. Stay tuned. Welcome back to the post game show, folks. Of course, I'm Walter Johnson. I'm joined by the victorious. Players of Eastern Guilford, they played a wonderful game tonight. We're going to start with uh, Mr. Heath Justice, their quarterback. Man, great game. You were 7 for 15, 120 yards, two touchdowns passing, 55 yards rushing. You just did a great job managing and leading the team. Coming into this big rivalry game, because you all haven't beaten them in a long time, what did you do to get ready for this ball game? Uh, I just prepared, watched film all week, and um, just do what my coaches asked me to do, put, put our guys in the best position to win the game. He threw some very beautiful balls tonight. Talk to us about the chemistry that you have with these receivers because it's almost like you all on the same page and know what, what one another going to do regardless of whether you're looking at them or not. I've been playing with these guys since seventh grade, so, I mean, that just speaks for it right there. Chemistry, I mean, we've been working all summer, and like, we're just on the same page consistently. Well, I'm also, Urell, you caught the first touchdown pass tonight, a 20-yard kind of go route. And you just went up and what we call mossed him at the end. We got, went up big and got the, the touchdown. On that pass, when he threw it up, what were your thoughts? Uh, when he threw it up, it was it was prime time. Make a play, and I caught I caught the ball, made a play, and you know we came out with the victory. And you looked like once earlier in the game, you had called for the ball one time and he didn't see you. Was there any is there any key or any anything any eye contact you guys make to let him know? Look, I got this guy beat. You know, every time. You know, I try to tell Heath to, like, just hit me every time. You know, I'm always open. So 
You know, I just tell them to hit me. It's never a really a sign. It's always it's always a play that I'm open. Right. You know what I'm saying? Well, we're here with, with the defensive stopper. This guy, Kyrie London. Kyrie, great ball game, man. You were in the backfield more than their running backs. I mean, you were back there all night long. And watching film, what did you notice about the way their line blocked and moved that, that let you know you could get back there and stay back there and harass them all night? Uh, I just, just did what my coach told me to do. They'll take you right to the play. Just read, read your keys and get to the ball. That's all I did. And over the last couple of years, we've seen Eastern become a more physical ball club. What do you attribute all the physicality to? Oh, working hard. Working hard in the weight room during the summer, from December to all year round, really. Just working hard and going, going for it, wanting it. Well, Coach Tinsley told me, man, uh, over the summer, he said you guys probably worked harder this summer than you all have worked in the last three or four years. And he said that everybody came in stronger. Talk to us about how Coach Tinsley pushed you all this summer to get ready for this season. Uh, he pushes he pushes hard, real hard. I'm talking about six in the morning, getting up, come lifting, to right before school and after school. So take showers in school, just come work out, and then to get get good grades, and then, so we can come back on this football field and be victorious. We want to say congratulations to him right now. We want to award our most valuable player of the game to Mr. Heath Justice. Mr. Justice, want to congratulate you on a great job. You have the, 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 the ball, and we're going to give you a $25 gift certificate. You are our spare time player of the game. And, uh, folks, you'll get a chance later on in the year to vote for Heath as the player of the year for Friday Night Rivalries. And go to www.tenwebtv, check us out, and also cast your vote. At this time, we're going to turn it over to the play of the game, the Red Family Dentistry play of the game. Eastern put it in the pond, he's justice, connecting with the number one.